Okay guys, we're going to try this. May work, may not. We're going to find out here in a moment. See if I can sit you down to where you can see what's going on. Hopefully you can. <sighs> this may work or may not. Not without a hitch or two. Now, 
guess I'll have to manhandle this a little bit to get the back up to where that pinhole is. So, hmm, let's see what I can do. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, see if I can set you down right here. See if I can do this. lost me bolts. No, I didn't.
crowbar. But at any rate, you get the idea. How a one-man show gets the disc back together. Slowly, but surely. Now I gotta do a lot of finagling to get this thing to line up right. Uh, first off, I gotta get these gangs back over, so I may have to push this that way. I don't know yet. Find out here in a minute. So hang on, I'll be back. Well, hi guys. The back is somewhat assembled. Nothing's tight yet. Because I got to line all of this up. And I can see this tongue needs to go that way. So I got to figure out what I need to do to get this stuff to line up. Or if it's this side or what's out of whack. I got to do some checking. So those three holes should be in a straight line this way. So there yeah, is a little off. So we'll be back here in just a minute once I figure this out. So hang on. Well, hi guys. Uh, got the centers put in. Everything's just kind of snugged up. And I had to check to see how out of square it was. And it's easy to square a disc up like this. Uh, because simply... You go from that bolt that holds the axle tube on to this corner, measure it, and then measure from that bolt to this bolt. I knew the disc was cattywampus. It was an inch off. So I had to pull, I was one, one fourteen. 115 from there to here, 114 from there to there. So I had to bring the disc frame this way a half an inch, which I did. Um, now everything is set true again. I can go ahead and tighten the, this bolt, the five up there, the two in the center, these two and then put the axle uh, strap back on and it'll be done so that's basically how you square a disc uh, ideally it would be the front corners but you can't measure across the tube or go underneath of it very easy so that point, that bolt, to this bolt, that bolt, to this bolt, and you pull it whichever way it needs to go. Uh, being it was longer this way, it needed to be pulled this way to square it. So now I'm going to pull it just a hair. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's really good the way it is. I'm going to tighten everything up as banjo string tight and lock her down. Don't you think it'd be a good idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for the shade. Yeah. <laughs> it's hotter than hell out here today, just like it was yesterday. But at any rate, guys, that's basically how you square one of these. Um, just remember that <laughs> for future references. Um, some discs are welded, solid welded frame. Some are like this. Uh, and that's how you square one back up. Is two manufactured points like these holes are drilled and you measure across between and you got it.
So at any rate guys, I'm going to get off here and start tightening it up. And keep my eye on the sky because it's starting to cloud up real good. It's hot, it's humid, and we're liable to get a good one this afternoon. I hope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, I'll be back here in a few minutes, guys. Well, it's time to show the finished product. The disc is complete. All the repairs made. All the bolts are tight. Uh, Grease ready to go. Uh, cost to fix. I had to buy one bolt. right there five bucks welding rods I had uh, didn't use much oxygen and acetylene uh, the piece of box tubing I had to put in side and you can kind of see it down there it's right there so weld 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 bolt bolt weld weld i don't think it's going to go anywhere uh, they say i welded these up and now it's tight and it doesn't allow the gang to go like this uh, it'll pull pull straight now whereas before uh, if you look this side to this side this side was pulling harder cutting harder because that center was letting it cock like this so this one wasn't cutting as much as this so this side's wore a little bit more than that side but she's all tight uh, it's right now so for 25 bucks and a day, day and a half worth of work to fix it, it's fixed. Um, and it's ready to go. It's a good disc again. Um, you can't complain about that. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it's still a good disc it cuts good and the best thing is it finishes with the best of them um, that's why i've had this this for 30 years is because of the finish it gives you it's that good uh, john deere you can kind of see out there it doesn't do a bad job but this does a better job of finishing. So, the good old Moline is back together now and ready to go back to work. Uh, can't complain about that. Now, I think I figured out why that tube broke to begin with. I think these bolts here got a little loose those bolts have gotten a little bit loose and allowed it to start putting a lot of extra twist to the frame uh, both sides when i got it apart both sides have been broke and the only thing was holding was the top and the bottom and the only way you can break the sides and not the top and bottom is pulling funny and that being you know pulling cockeyed on the front gangs not being the same would do that but at any rate guys it's back in it's all put back together uh, maybe a $25 20 $25 fix and some good old-fashioned elbow grease uh, thing is right now I'm waiting on rain so I fixed the disc at any rate guys I'm gonna get out of here I'm gonna call it a day now uh, 
I think I just said it's 88 degrees, it's hot, it's humid, and it's time to head to the house. And I'm hoping we're going to get some storms this afternoon. We need some rain, actually. Um, it's uh, ground across the road is drying a popcorn fart and cloudy, so it needs the rain. At any rate, guys, we'll see you next time. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. $25 fix and got a good disc again. We'll see you next time, guys.